This is RG's latest Zephyrus G16, and this is personally one of the most exciting gaming laptop announcements in years. First off, let's talk about the design. I feel RG's design is going to the right direction, changing to a more sleek and minimalistic design language with a hint of ROG DNA. While the razor blade is increasing the laptop thickness for RTX 40 series laptops, ROG decides to go the other way, thinner and lighter, even lighter than MacBook Pro 16. The laptop looks incredible, with the aluminum unibody construction gives its premium feel and the Eclipse grey finish just looks very nice, making this looks like the gaming version of MacBook Pro 16. With this thin chassis, ROG is not compromising on ports, in fact, ROG is finally giving a full size SD card slot, so content creators like myself will be happy with this inclusion. My experience with the ROG Zephyrus series keyboard and touchpad are always amazing. Keycap sizes are right and typing feels accurate. Although the keyboard RGB is only single zone, but to me, I only need my keyboard to light up not running a nightclub. Touchpad feels amazing and big as well. There are also some occasional palm touching the touchpad while typing but it's not a big deal. Now onto the ROG Nebula display. This is where the Zephyrus G16 really shines as the laptop now comes with the OLED panels. And so far, the Zephyrus G16 is the only gaming laptop that supports G-Sync. The panel displays blacks as inky blacks and colors are so vivid that it feels like the images are jumping off the screen. The display also comes with the market standard QHD+, 240Hz refresh rate, DCI-P300% color gamut. No matter if you are gaming or creating contents on this machine, the visual experience on this device is just chef's kiss. The Zephyrus G16 is powered by the latest Intel Core Ultra 9 processors and RTX 4080 GPU. This one in particular is using RTX 4070. In terms of performance, I'll mainly describe the experience I have with this Zephyrus G16 as there are a lot of technical reviews of the Core Ultra 9 and RTX 4070. My personal use case can be divided into light use and also gaming. During gaming with Armory Create setting set to performance, the experience were pleasant and can handle the games I play like a champ. For Cyberpunk was tested with maximum setting and path tracing, I can still run the game hovering around 50 to 60 FPS with DLSS balance and frame generation. It was a treat playing with maximum settings. Monster Hunter World is an older title that does not support frame gen but with maximum setting and DLSS set to balance, I was able to get 80 to 100 FPS. Competitive games like The Finals and Overwatch can perform very well as expected. On the other hand, light use cases like casual browsing, watching YouTube, blasting songs are amazing due to its Core Ultra 9 as it could last me around 8 to 9 hours of battery life. I still remember the days where gaming laptops can only last 1 or 2 hours unplugged. But here we are, the Zephyrus G16 is so powerful and have great battery life. If you're a heavy user and will need to bring the charger around to your travels, RG has provided two chargers in the box, proprietary charger and type C to keep your travels light. Super convenient. Wrapping up, understand that there are gaming laptops out there offering better gaming performance. If gaming FPS is all you care in a laptop, by all means, please go for those options. But I also question if you're buying a gaming laptop for the right reason as gaming PC or consoles offer much better performance value. Ultimately, we need to assess why do we need to buy a gaming laptop because we want the laptop to be portable while not compromising much on the all-in-one solution like display, speakers, keyboard, battery life and performance. In RG's context, you'll feel and look damn bangsa one as well. The real challenge is to cram all these experiences in such a thin and light form factor. In my book, RG's FSG16 is offering much better all-rounder gaming laptop. I think it's really hard to find another competition that can handle the balance of power versus the experience similar to a level that ROG Zephyrus G16 can handle. I really hope ROG keeps this up in future Zephyrus iterations. That's it from this introduction. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.